Okay, we're here today with Mitch Cotis, Great Bend High School and uh, Great Bend Legion. He's committed to play baseball at Barton Community College. We're happy to have him. Uh, one of a long line of Great Bend High School players that have been able to come in here and play. Like to try to keep our guys, you know, the guys that uh, play here in Great Bend at home uh, as long as we can. And we feel like, uh, you know, been able to do that with Mitch. Uh, we've already had Jace Bowman commit to us, and now we have Mitch committing to us, and we feel like uh, those two guys were the catalysts on the high school team and are right now on the uh, American Legion team, so we feel pretty good about that. Um, Mitch is going to be able to come in and hopefully do a couple things um, you know, for us, and uh, that's always good when you have somebody that can play uh, more than one position and uh, we're, uh, we're happy to have him. What positions do you uh, anticipate him playing? Well, we want him, we, yeah, well, we want him to play the outfield and, and, you know, pitching is always something that, you know, anybody with, a, a guy like him with experience that he has pitching wise, um, we want to try him on the mound too. Uh, you know, we want to get him out there. He's got, right now, he's got a little bit of an injury um, to his shoulder. I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's just a little bit of overuse and, and uh, you know, I don't want to take anything away from Mike, Michael Stettinger. He's got a problem himself as far as not having enough pitching. But um, I think, you know, maybe tendonitis, you know, sounds like something like that. So we're not going to try to, you know, we're going to wait till he's healthy to, to see, you know, what he can do there. But that's our that's our main uh, focus with him. You know, you asked me if he can play the outfield. Yeah, he may play two or three different places in the outfield. You know, I mean, all of our outfielders play all three positions in the outfield and uh, you never know when one of them is going to go down. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's, that's what's good about coming to a junior college and being able to play at this level is you get to find out, you know, where your best position is and what the best thing for you is uh, at the next level and that's something that we're charged with that's our job is to figure that out and um, fortunately has confidence in us that you know we can do that and we can get him going from here yeah I've always come out and watched games and known the staff for a while coming to camps and just like the atmosphere here and felt like a good place to be what do you bring to the table as far as being an all-around athlete uh, I think it helps me out in many ways, being able to play different positions. If I can play different positions, then if someone gets injured somewhere, I could always come in and play wherever they got injured. Uh, sports administration. What do you hope to do one day? Um, I hope to either be a coach or it could be an athletic director or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be a student ambassador out here. What's your GPA? What was it in high school year? Uh, about 3.5, 3.6. Let me clarify something here because there seems to be a little bit of, of, I don't know, misunderstanding or not understanding. With the number of scholarships we have, we depend on, on players like Mitch who have high GPAs, high school GPAs, and are eligible for academic scholarships. Um, in some cases, if they have a baseball scholarship and an academic scholarship, they have to have a 3-5 GPA out of high school and have to maintain that 3-5 GPA in order to receive the academic scholarship. Um, plus, he's, he's on a student ambassador. He, he's going to get some money for that. He's going to also get some money because his, his mom, Kathy, is an employee here. Um, with only 24 scholarships, we obviously can't play with 24 players. Um, we, that's just not enough for us. And, you know, it doesn't mean that, that Mitch is, you know, I don't like the term scholarship player, non-scholarship player. I, I just don't like it. I hate that. Um, probably because we've had guys that have come here on, not on a scholarship and played professional baseball um, in the past. They've been that good. Uh, and so it has nothing to do with the ability. It has more to do with, our ability to be able to get out 
and get more players. And, you know, I, I applaud Mitch for that because, you know, he's not selfish. He understands the situation. Um, it's not going to cost him anything to go to school here, uh, you know, unless he lives in the dorms. And uh, I'm sure his mom and dad are going to push him out, kick him out to live in the dorms. And I'm sure the feeling's mutual. But, um, and I'm sure his sister's probably looking forward to, you know, having her own, own doing her own thing at home. So, um, you know, that's, that's their decision. But from a, from a money standpoint, a scholarship standpoint, I think we get too hung up on that. And, uh, you know, Mitch is here as a baseball player and, an, and, and a student. And that's the bottom line. And that's what he's going to do. Uh, he's going to go out and he's going to perform for us. He's going to perform in the classroom. And obviously, the smarter they are, the better we like it. Um, because not only are they intelligent, you know, book-wise, hopefully they're intelligent on the field. Hopefully it, it uh, translates, you know, to the field also. You know, I've been here, this will be my 29th year. And that's something we've always we've always done. Um, you know, it's not like it used to be. I, I, I will go ahead and say that um, high school baseball here, the athletes aren't what they used to be. You know, back say when Coach Biggs played here, and and before that, there were a lot more uh, good baseball athletes. Um, and then Coach Black got here, and the football program has grown. A lot and that's not a knock on coach black at all that's just you know some kids have now decided to play football um, some kids have decided to play summer basketball um, and that's something you know that, those are their decisions the kids that decide to play baseball uh, are the ones that you know we really try to get and, and I think it's important to keep the hometown guys here you know for a lot of reasons actually you know what you just said about keeping the interest here in the community and you know, the fact that Mitch can play and his parents are here, they're close, um, you know, they can see him play every day, uh, you know, is, is a big deal too. So, and it is to us. So, uh, you know, I think you're right. It, you're exactly right. It is, it is big for us and it all, it, it's nothing new though. It, it's been that way for 29 years. Growing up and seeing other people go on and like you said, playing the majors and, uh, just like last year, Castanini going to Creighton. I went to a camp up in Creighton, and just playing at the next level has always been a big dream. And going playing D1, and then someday playing in the majors, hopefully. There was uh, Dodge City. I had I had a football and a baseball there, and um, that's it was between Dodge and Barton, and I'd rather stay home yeah. than go to Dodge. Like to hear better. I thought about it, and I really had no passion for football. I lost my passion playing in high school, and I just thought all my passion was in baseball, and I could see myself playing baseball and not really playing football any longer. As a pitcher, I'd need to improve on not dragging my arm through the zone so I don't get injured. Um, but I think that a main part would be hitting and keeping a right approach. If I keep the right approach, then I can hit the ball and boost my average a little bit and help me out a lot. I'd like to thank all of you for coming and uh, really thank, you know, Mitch's parents for having born him <laughs> and enabling him to be a Barton County baseball player and all the other and everything else you know Mitch is a good kid and, and I think parents don't get enough credit sometimes for how their kids turn out and we're happy to have him here.